Today, we are going to discuss Fourier analysis. Fourier analysis can be divided into two parts. The first one is Fourier series and the second one is Fourier transfer. Fourier transfer. The first one deals with periodic phenomena. That is, Fourier series is used when we want a periodic signal or a periodic function. So it deals with periodic phenomena. Why? Fourier transform deals with non periodic phenomena. Non periodic phenomena. That is, the period tends to infinity. Non periodic phenomena means there is no repetition. Periodic phenomena means there is a repetition after a particular interval. So, a periodic phenomena can be mathematically expressed as f of t plus t is equal to f of t, where t is known as the period of the function. This non periodic means period t tends to infinity. So, Fourier transform is a limiting case of Fourier series. Now, in mathematics, there are several periodic functions. For example, sin theta and cos theta are periodic with the period 2 pi. Period 2 pi. That is, we can define sin theta and cos theta are as the coordinates of a point in a unit circle. Consider a circle with the radius 1. Then we can suppose this angle is theta, then we can define the x coordinate of this point as cos theta, while the y coordinate as sin theta. So cos theta and sin theta are the x and y coordinates of a point in a unit circle. So after a period of 2 pi, we will come to the same point. So after an angle of 2 pi, sin theta and cos theta takes the same point. So we can write as sin theta plus 2 pi is equal to sin theta and cos theta plus 2 pi is equal to cos theta. So, while modeling a periodic function, we can use either sin theta or cos theta. Now, consider a function with the period t. Consider a function with the period t. Then, in terms of cos, we can write it as cos 2 pi t by t because when you add t capital t to small t you will get the same function cos 2 pi t plus t you are uh, these two are the same that is cos 2 pi t by t is a function having real t similarly sin 2 pi t by t is a function having period t. So by modeling a function with period t, we can either use cos 2 pi t by t or sin 2 pi t by t. Now consider a function with period 1, the function whose period is 1. Period is 1. Then I can write in terms of cos as cos 2 pi t and in terms of sin is sin 2 pi t. 
both these functions have period 1. So, find the ordinary function with the period 1, we can use either cos 2 by b or sin 2 by b. Now, consider the plot of sin 2 by b. Sin 2 by b versus p. You can mark the origin here. Then suppose this is t is equal to 1. Suppose this is t is equal to 2. Sin 2 by t is a function of period 1. That means for t equal to 1, this completes one side. For t equal to 2, it completes two sides. Now consider sin 4 pi t. Sin 4 pi t. For t equal to 1, t equal to 2. For t equal to 1, it will complete two cycles. It will complete two cycles. For t equal to 2, we can make 4 cents. That is, here the frequency is double. Here the frequency is double. Or we modified the frequency. Now consider sin 6 pi t. Sin 6 pi t. So, now this is t equal to 1. Now this is t equal to 2. So, here, up to t equal to 1, there will be there will be three waves. After t equal to two, there will be six waves. So here the frequency is total. So now consider we combine these three waves: sine two pi t plus sine four pi t plus sine six pi t. The sum of all the three. The sum of quarter 3. Again, I am taking these two points t equal to 1 and t equal to 2. What would be the functional for or the plot of this combination? Sin 2 pi t plus sin 4 pi t plus sin 6 pi t. Of course, all the three individual waves have 0 by b and t equal to 0. So the combination will also have 0 by b. And sin 2 pi t repeats after a time 1 second sin 4 pi t repeats after a time half second sin 6 pi t repeats after a time 1 by 3 seconds so the combination will repeat only after t is equal to 1 second that is the period of the largest signal so the rough shape of the combination will be like this and then this will repeat so, the combination, you can see that it is a very complicated signal with the period t is equal to 1. So, by combining the three simple sinusoidal waveform, you can form a very complicated periodic signal with the period 1. So, this is the essence of Fourier series. You can use the simple sine and cosine functions to model a very complicated signal. Here, I modified only the frequency and then combine the individual waves. I can modify the phase, I can modify the amplitude of individual waves. So there are only three parts. One is amplitude, second one is phase, third one is frequency. You can modify any of the three. Here I modified the frequency. Now, we can modify the amplitude also. So, suppose I plotted 1 sin 2 pi t, 1 sin 2 pi t versus t. Suppose this is the waveform 1 sin 2 pi t. Then I plotted sin 2 sin 2 pi t, 2 sin 2 pi t, 2 sin 2 pi t. Again, I mark the points on 2 sin 2 pi t means amplitude is 
double and we do this double. Now suppose I draw 3 sin 2 pi t, 3 sin 2 pi t, then the amplitude becomes 3 times. Amplitude becomes 3 times. Now suppose I combine all the three, 1 sin 2 pi t plus 2 sin 2 pi t plus 3 sin 3 pi t, 2 pi t. Then we will get the amplitude added and there is no change in the waveform. So we will get the look like this one. So there is not much physical significance for this type of modification. Now consider we are modifying the phase of the waveform. Phase of the waveform. Okay. So first you consider one sin 2 pi t 1 sin 2 pi t so this is 1 this is 2 1 sin 2 pi t is something like this this is so we will form to be at 1 now consider 1 sin 2 pi t plus say pi by 2 1 sin 2 pi t plus pi by 2 1 sin 2 pi t plus pi by 2 means when t is equal to 0, this becomes sin pi by 2. Sin pi by 2 is 1, 1. So, you get this as So, there is no change in the amplitude, but the way from initial point is changed. Here it is 0, here it is maximum. Now consider 1 sin 2 pi t plus say pi by 4. So, pi by 4. Now, when t equal to 0, this becomes sin pi by 4. Sin pi by 4 is 1 by 2. And when t is a little bit higher, then it becomes sin pi by 2. So this will be something like this. So here the starting point is change. So you alter the phase and you combine the phase signals. Suppose you combine the phase signals 1 sin 2 pi t plus 1 sin 2 pi t plus pi by 2 plus 1 sin 2 pi t plus pi by 4 and will be the resulting signal. Of course the initial point will be here this 1, here it is 1 by 2, here it is 0, so it is greater than 1. And uh, after 1, this will uh, be, so say, maybe a complicated signal. With the period, of course, it should be 1. Period should be 1. So, the final point is we can modify the frequency or the phase or the amplitude of a particular signal and we can combine the signals to produce a complicated periodic signal. This is the essence of Fourier series. Now, in general, any periodic signal, any periodic signal, f of t with the period t of period say 1 can be written as, written as f of t is equal to sigma sigma k equal to 0 or k equal to 1 to infinity a k sin 2 pi k t plus some pi k. So here I modified, so here I can modify the frequency, amplitude as well as the phase. Then combine all the waveforms to get a complicated 
periodic signal of P at one. Suppose I am taking a P at T, then I have to divide here at P. So I can expand this using sin n plus b equation. So f of t is equal to sigma k equal to 1 to infinity a k. What is sin n plus b? It is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Okay. Now put capital A k cos phi k as some say small b k and capital A k sin phi k as some small a k. Then I can rewrite this equation as I can rewrite this equation as f of t is equal to sigma k equal to 1 to infinity a k cos 2 pi k t plus b k sin 2 pi k t. So this is Fourier series of a function with the t and t. Okay. Now you can add some constant also. The you can simply add a a naught. Then you can write it as something like a naught plus sigma k equal to one to infinity a a cos two pi k t plus b k sin two pi k t. Because suppose you have a complicated signal. Suppose you have a complicated signal with the period t with the period t. Say something like this. So complicated signal with the period t. Now suppose you add this is the f of t. Suppose you add a constant along with this a constant along with this. Say you got from f of t plus two f of t plus two. What will be the change? The origin will be shifted to 2. The origin will be shifted to 2. So your function will be like this. So there is no change in the waveform if you add a constant along with the signal. That means you can simply add a constant along with the signal and you can write the general form of a Fourier series of a function with the period p as f of t equal to a0 plus sigma k equal to 1 to infinity. A k cos 2 pi k t plus B k sin 2 pi k t. 